Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am back with another crochet stitch. This is really an easy stitch and I hope I can remember how I did it. <laughs> I did it like two days ago. I made this up and I think we're safe to say that you probably won't have seen this one anywhere else. I did a couple of weird funky things, but I like the looks of this. If you pull it apart a little bit, you can see there's a little bit of lacy stuff going on, but yet it's very, you know, thick and puffy. So let's just get started. I'm going to use some pink yarn. You can use any kind of yarn you want, any size hook you want. And if you are someone who has been crocheting for a long time, you might find it fun to try a different stitch and you can just, you know, do a little swatch and see if you like it. Okay, we just need a multiple of three for our chain. If you need beginner videos, I have that in the description box and in the pinned comment and I will also try to put it on the end screen. So I am going to, let's see, I'm going to keep this one small, so I'm going to chain just nine. No, I better do twelve. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, every row is the same. We are going to start in that first available chain and we're going to do a half double crochet. So I yarn over, I go in and I'm using just the back loop, pull through, yarn over, pull through all the loops. Every row is going to start with a half double crochet. Every row is going to end with a half double crochet, but we're going to do it in a different way. And I'll explain that when we get there. So that's the beginning of our row. I'm not doing a foundation row. We're just going to start right away with the stitches. Now this is almost like combining a little bit of what we've learned with Tunisian crochet. And you also need to know single crochet. So very easy, but it looks complicated when you, you know, you see the finished product. So we've done our half double crochet. Now we're going to go into three stitches and just pull the yarn through like we do when we uh, are working a Tunisian crochet. So I'm going in, yarn over, pull through. I'm leaving the loop right there. Next one, I go in, pull through. One more time, I go in, pull through. And the very first row is a little harder than the, uh, the, the next rows. Now I'm going to do almost again like Tunisian crochet, but with Tunisian crochet we yarn over and we pull through one. For this we're going to yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. So it's easy to remember. It's just two, two, and two. Now. Are you familiar with our little vertical bars? If you've done any Tunisian crochet, you know what I mean. But you can see we've created a vertical bar right here, and we have another one right here. It can get a little bit confusing with this guy, but you know, you can see here's one going up and down, here's one going up and down. Ignore this one that's tilted. We are going to go under that, and we're going to do a single crochet. So pull through, and then complete your single crochet. Now we're going to do the same thing in the next vertical bar. Go under, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. That is our stitch. Now we're going to go and pull through the next three chains. So right here, especially for the beginning, you know, you just want to see, we've already worked inside this one. So we're not going here. We're going here. We're going to do it three times. So go in, pull through, the next one, go in, pull through. The next one, go in, pull through. Every stitch is the same. So now we're going to do our yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now we're going to go into our vertical bars and do a single crochet. So I'm going under the first vertical bar, pull through, and yarn over, pull through. There's my single crochet. Here's my next vertical bar, pull through, and single crochet. So now we've done the stitch twice. We have one more. We've worked in that chain, so we're going here. We're going to go through and pull through three chains. So there's one, two, yarn over, pull through, three. Now we're going to yarn over and go through two, yarn over, go through two, 
yarn over, go through two. Now we're going to do two single crochets. Vertical bar there, vertical bar there. Go in, single crochet, go in, single crochet. Now, if you've done your row right, you should always end up with one chain left, and that's where we're going to work a half double crochet. By doing a half double crochet on each end, it keeps the, um, the rows a little bit puffy because the half double crochet is a little bit shorter. But here's what I was doing. I was just doing my half double crochet in that last chain, but you can see that leaves a very big space there. It doesn't do it on this way. So each row, you know, it would alternate and have a big space on one end. I don't like that big space. So here's what I've done. I'm still calling it a half double crochet. I'm yarning over, but I'm going to go in the stitch that we already worked and I'm going to pull through, but then I'm also going to go into the next stitch and pull through. Now I'm just going to yarn over and pull through everything. So it still looks like a half double crochet, but look, we lost that space. Pretty cool. All right, let's do another row together. Every row you chain one and turn. So now to start, it's always a half double crochet, but just a regular one. And we are going to work in just the back stitch each time. You can go under both if you want, try it, or you can go under just the front one if you want. Um, I just decided I liked it this way better. So half double crochet, you yarn over, you go in, pull through, yarn over, go through all three. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to pull through three stitches, but now it gets easier because you can see you're going to be doing the stitches that we, you know, like this is almost like a little shell kind of thing. So we're going to go in, pull through, there's one, in, pull through, there's two, in, pull through, there's three. Now we yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. Now we look for our vertical bars. There's one, there's one. We're going to do a single crochet in each. There's our stitch. Now you want to just, you know, make sure that you don't go into the, you know, the stitch that we already worked in. So let's see. We've already worked in this one, so we want this one. If you can't, you know, be sure, well, you know, just tug on it, and we can see that there's already yarn going through this guy. And then you can also see that, you know, here's your three stitches of that, like, little shell. That's why I said if you'd rather work in the back uh, loop, you can. I just decided to work in the front one. So here's my three. One, two, three. I'm going to pull through. Yarn over, pull through, and yarn over, pull through. And now I'm going to go through two, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. And then single crochet under the vertical bar, single crochet under the vertical bar. And there's our next stitch. And let's do it one more time so I can see that uh, I want this guy, this guy, this guy. Going in, pull through. Yarn over, I mean, go in, yarn over, pull through. Go in, yarn over, pull through. Go through two, go through two, go through two. And then I'm going to do a single crochet here. And a single crochet under the next vertical bar. Okay, so now we're at our last stitch, and this is where we have our funky double crochet, I mean half double crochet, that we're going to do. Yarn over. We're going into the stitch that we worked already, pulled through, and we're going into the last stitch and pull through. And then we yarn over and we go through all of that stuff. Chain one and turn. And it just repeats over and over again. The nice thing about this stitch is it's a tall stitch, so it uh, works really quick. You're, you know, it doesn't take, this is only two rows, and look how much, you know, how tall it is, so it's cool. And if you keep going, this is what you're going to get. And there's nothing that you really need to know to finish off. You just, you know, when you're done a row, you're done a row. It's finished.
So I hope you liked this. Please subscribe so you don't miss any future crochet blocks or quilt blocks or quilt tops or concoctions or tag-alongs and all the other videos that I do. I'd love to have you in the peanut gallery. Thank you for watching. Bye!